Nice. You put some, you, I know you were zoning when you made that tune. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. yeah, man, we are back. We over here at the Visionary Yard Center. It's your boy Friday, Ricky Tread. Um, special, special occasion right here is we love hip hop, but we love dance hall. We love culture. We love everything. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm really, really happy to be able to get into this conversation we're about to have here. And, you know, big salute to our sponsors, Quick Fast. Big salute to Astro Pink. If you know, you know. Check them out on their website, my, myastropink.com. Or you could check them out on their Instagram, Astro underscore Pink. And this episode is brought to you by Sovereign um, Sovereign Selections. Okay, over there, 70 Dundas Street East, right next to the Burrito Boys, right upstairs next to the Rock the House Barbershop. Um, they're the only only indigenous boutique dispensary that specializes in quads and super quads. Today we're gonna be puffing on um. What do I got here? Some LSO pink pla uh, platinum pink. You know what I'm saying? While we're doing this interview, make sure to check them out. They're doing loyalty programs. You get ten um, orders and you get a free half quarter, or you can get one of the cards and get their loyalty program referral program going on. So hit them up. Um, Sovereign Selections on Instagram or go check them out 70 Dundas Street East right upstairs right next to the Burrito Boys but I'm so, oh do you have anything you want to plug before we get into it? yeah uh, I also want to uh, plug out because <laughs> we're not plugging neither you know <laughs> see it? but uh, Scar was fine it's blessing myself for the gears them. I don't know see it? I want to bless my jeweler you know what I'm saying stylist Styles Creations, Brian, bless up yourself. I didn't get to wear my ring and my watch today. You know what I mean? But let's check out my jeweler, you know what I mean? Styles Creations, mad. Okay, okay. And and for the people who are in the listening audience, who are hearing that <laughs> voice, um, I know the, the, the real heads are familiar, like, a lie, who's that, who he has in the studio right there. But for the people in the video audience, y'all already know, y'all already smashing that like button crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and I have the special honor to have this gentleman here for this conversation that we're about to have. We have Lindo P in the motherfucking building. <laughs> You heard? Blessing. Mad. So, i finally been able to get you here for this interview, and I'm super excited to be able to get into the conversation. What I want to do here is get like a history lesson for the for the people and also catch up on everything that you've been doing up to date. You know what I'm saying? So let's start with New Year's, because you you you've been playing out from time, playing, doing parties, doing clubs. Yes. What was your New Year's Eve like? Um, I didn't do anything New Year's Eve. I stayed with my youth. Okay. Yeah. Would usually you be playing out that night though? Yeah. Yeah. But for, a couple, for a couple of New Year's, I've been just, I've been just chilling. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I mean, I've been playing on so much of times, but you cannot stay with your family, son. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Get to what's important. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Very. Yeah, man. So let's, let's get to the a full Lindo P history. All right. You grew up in Scarborough. That's right. Right. Um, Give me like the ends in Scarborough because for the people outside of Toronto, Scarborough is enough. Yeah. But for the people in Toronto, we they want to know what part of Scarborough. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what part of Scarborough and, and life growing up as a as a preteen. Let's go. Yeah, all right. Well, I would say partially grew up in Bay Mills. Okay, you know what I mean. And then we we'll move from them side there. I went to like maybe like Brimley, McNichol, mm -hmm. them kind of lifestyle with the Chinese people, them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So he was up there for a couple of years and then, then we moved to Malvern. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then still there, Malvern, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Them side there. You know what I mean? So growing up, um, Malvern has a reputation, right? Was it already, did it already have the reputation when you were growing up? Or was it like still, was it a different Malvern? Malvern. I can't even say like, it's like a new development area mm -hmm. at the time when we were growing up, you know what I mean? But there were still places like, what they say, like Wind Garden, that's like Nielsen and Finch. Yeah. Seeing? So around there and, and houses and the complex around there, so like, I just saw the yard them there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't fully built up. But yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you grew up in the household, you know, both parents in the household, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Catholic background, right? Like, yeah. parents were both like 
very church heavy and stuff like that. More, more like like Baptists are where you what even until today they're not really just go to church, you know. But mm-hmm. I guess for us being here, they're thinking the best way for you to go is to go to the Catholic church. You know what I mean? Yeah, they'll try to chew the Bible and all them sitting there. So yeah, yeah. And and both your parents are from Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My mom's from Saint Thomas and my dad's from Saint Anne's. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you know you're a Rasta, right? You, you you deal with Rastafari. What and this is from time. What made you start like leaning towards Rastafari rather than like the church stuff? All right, well, <clears throat> tell a story. Mm-hmm. Growing up, like I said, like go to church, everything, whatever. So at a bridge in them time, I used to play a song called Red Flame. See yep. from yep. Marvin, same way. So at a bridge on the song named Indian. You know what I mean? I always check for Indian, you know what I mean? Older than me, but I was showing me good stuff. Mm-hmm. So one day, reached his man's house now. Man's reasoning with me. He's like, yo, you're a good youth, you know, and your spirit and rate it. And man say, yo, let go that Jesus thing. Saying, mm-hmm. Jesus is a fish sticks. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? So them time, I'm like, you don't know man want to fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, just look into it. Vex. Yeah. So I go to my mom. I'm like, mom, it's better said Jesus a fish sticks and wait, 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 run, run, run. My mother just said, yo, everybody's free to have their own opinion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But he's like, why you find out why you saying that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just, me search. Start looking. My, my mind start up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm looking and I'm saying like, the liberty of Rastafari and whatnot, you know what I mean? And yeah. I just realized like it's it's good, it's love. See, no, no better than that. See, yeah. positive actions, you know what I'm saying? So when were you like a teenager? Because like I know, and I'll give you just a little bit, even my own story. I I cut my locks off back in 2002, mm. but I grew them for about eight years. And with me, I was around my cousins in Brooklyn and stuff, and everybody was Ross. So I started like maybe around 18, started twisting up my hair and then like growing out the locks, yeah. right? So like, were you a teenager when you started growing out your locks? And, I'm, and I have a question leading after that. That's why, that's why I want to know. Man, I was like, no, nah, man, I was like, maybe you know, I'm in my twenties. Okay. With me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just always had that, that Rasta liberty was just always in me. The spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm. just so, just me just listening to music alone made me know who I'd be like. The fire tune and the righteous tune were, were, meant more to me more than anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just a calling, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just meant to be. No, because, you know, I asked that to ask, you know, whether it's when you're growing up or like even when you're getting into like your 20s and stuff like that, our parents sometimes or just like our culture sometimes, the, the more straight-laced part of the culture will be like, yo, don't grow no locks. It's going to be a setback. Be oh, like I, fully, get I fully got that. You got that, right? So but, tell me about that when you first started like embracing Rastafari. Okay, my real first embracement, besides like my hygiene, like being an adult. Yeah. <laughs> It's me. I, I can't. Even, I couldn't even tell you what age. What I was always fascinated in, into, like like Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So as a youth, know you always mimicking Bob Marley. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Flash of hair and I the scamp them on a scene. Yeah. So boom, you know what I mean? Get a little older, now you're like a Rasta man belt and mm-hmm. right away, parents is like. I want a Rasta in your house, I want to this and that, and you're not going to go your and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not going to, how you going to get a job, how you going to make it in life? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm kind of glad say, I got those kind of fire. Mm-hmm. Because it made me say, why? Why? Because your hair looks like this, you can't get a job. Yeah. Isn't that my mind? Am I not doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah, it doesn't make Some, you any less intelligent. Hair. Yeah. I mean, just like going to church, you're like, wear the slippery boots. And, and the, why do I have to go to church wearing a necktie mm-hmm. and them stuff? I can't just follow it as I am. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I used to get it, man. Get beaten for it and everything. Yeah, you no, know, no. I, 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 as as somebody who used to grow my locks, and it doesn't mean I'm not a Ross anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you don't have to be dread to be Rasta as the song goes, right? Um, I understand. You know what I'm saying? So, so even like you getting into the music, you are like even very, you're you're heavily into music from a young age. Like you're able to play piano and accordion, bro. Yeah, brother. So how do you get into <laughs> that, bro? And then again, like my dad, like everybody know I love music. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so my dad was a dancer. See, when we were growing up, so all yeah. the house party, my dad's boom, beer legs. So I used to follow my father and rate it. So everybody knew that was a music youth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So again, no, my dad's like, what's the greatest thing? Before the man asked me, like, what instrument do you want to play? Yeah. What I say, oh, drums rasta. No, I was like, I'm going to make you play an instrument. Mm-hmm. This man went and got the poker, bro. The, <laughs> went and got the, the accordion. Yeah. You know I mean? Didn't like it. But maybe wise, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Coordinating, you know how to do stuff with two different hands and whatever. Yeah. Air pockets and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then did the piano. And I wish I, I kept at that. Mm-hmm. But at that time, growing up as a youth, <clears throat> it just seemed like it was whack. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's turntables and stuff like that. Like, I was trying to make a different creation in my mind yeah. than to be just sitting on these keys. I didn't think later on there'd be beat machines and all this stuff that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I did it. Yeah. So also, I want to give a quick salute to Zeti from Zeti's Hot Plates. She has some stuff over here. I'm just going to, if you could just grab me. Yeah. I don't want to break the flow, but there's some stuff that she's giving away here. I'm going to make sure I put it on camera here. She's got a big pressure cooker and some kind of like big plating stuff here. The Martha Stewart collection. Leave the best comments underneath the post that she just posted because, you know, we just came off of a dope episode of Zeti's Hot Plates. Lindo and, and Zeti put together a, a nice Aki and Saltfish dish and we were, you know... I, I got to eat some before we started this episode. So hit her up on her Instagram, Zetis underscore hot plates, and uh, leave a comment to get your hands on this pressure cooker and uh, the, the cooking set over here. You know what I'm saying? But let's continue. <clears throat> sound cruise. Actually, before the sound cruise, the DJing. Okay. Because you started off as a DJ before you started doing the artistry or right? the, the, the rapping or not rapping, the chant and, and, and making music as a vocalist. Or am I wrong? Is all at one time. It's all at once. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, because remember, you know, like, what made me do this is like having the concept of being a b-boy at mm-hmm. these times, mm-hmm. seeing. So being a b-boy was to do what? You had to break dance, yeah. you had to DJ, you had to graffiti, to rap. Yeah. Seeing? I thought about that with reggae. Seeing? And before anybody could really rap, remember hip hop didn't have instrumentals. Mm-hmm. Reggae music is the only r- music on the earth that really had a song and you could flip it over and, it, and there was a there was track a on it yeah. for you to sing on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what made me think about not just playing, I'm always singing everybody's lyrics, mm-hmm. memorizing every lyrics, every super cat, every Shabbat from beginning straight to the end. Yeah. So when you're hearing instrumentals, no, and I'm seeing Super Cat and everybody DJ like, me want to sing too. Mm-hmm. So it was just, it's a one element. Okay. Yeah. So you started the DJing and basically, for lack of a better term, singing at the same time. Yeah, just same time. Just. Right. Um, so then, because I know one thing that I, when I was listening to an interview with, uh, with Muscle, right? You mentioned two groups or one group. Lisa, Lisa, and Cult Jam. Mm-hmm. Head to toe. Yeah. I did a mix. Mm. It was head to toe in something else. That yeah, was, yeah, that was yeah. like my first official mix. My cousin, Ratty. First official mix. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Man was showing me how to... I don't know, bro. It's like I was just born with this. Like... I don't even get it, mm-hmm. but I don't fight it. Yeah. Seeing, I just know like I'm an instrument of music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just made to be here. Yeah. 
And and your dad was into the to the music scene for a degree too, no? Like wasn't he like he danced in the scene and stuff like that too? Like he was dancing the scenes, big people, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So but monks is their friend them and He's the legs man in them days. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm putting the pieces together because you came in with hip hop, but you leaned, you took hip hop and you fused it into reggae from a, from way back because when you first started. Man, hip hop is is from reggae mm. in a sense, not fully. You know, everybody used everybody in a sense. Yeah. When they're like talking on the mic or scatting or whatever the hell they call it. Mm-hmm. To me, like the first rapper to me is like James Brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know, you know, you know yeah. damn, 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 huh? <laughs> I don't know. To me, James Brown is the first rapper. Yeah. See, and I just think that Jamaicans them adapted to it and went more further with it because again, like I said, if you wanted to sing or do something, you needed a band. Mm-hmm. These guys just flipped the record, yeah. son. Yeah. So, so they got the upper hand mm-hmm. with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you first started with your first sound, Poison Ivy sound. Mm-hmm. With Blessed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who told you that? I do my research, man. This is my job is to ask the questions, right? Okay. I gotta do my research, yeah. fam. So, <laughs> so tell me about you and Blessed, young you and Blessed, because this is way back, starting your first sound. All right, we said at school. I mean, I really used, used to go to school, but they at school. Mm-hmm. So me at school and I was music. So music in a class, music in a hallway. <clears throat> so I used to go around now. Like, this was amazing in the days. Yeah. See, in them time I'm going to Lieberman. We used to go to all the schools and battle every MC mm. in our reggae. And I'd smash them. See? It? <laughs> it's like a riot if you see the amount of people, brother. Yeah. See? It? So now everybody's like, yo, there's this brother by Mary Ward who's bad. Just came from the yard. You <laughs> see? Mm-hmm. Peter P. I'm like Peter P. Yo, but me and I mean me and Linda P. Mm-hmm. I say, yo, me have to go wire this brother. I'm gonna go there and him do good. Yeah. I me do good. Nobody no win. Nobody no lose. <laughs> see? So from that no, we just became agents. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Doing music, writing lyrics and rotating again. We love music. Yeah. So not just because we're just writing stuff. We want the records them so we have the rhythm so we can DJ upon. Mm-hmm. Plus, I really know the DJ. Yeah. So all these records and I'm like, fuck, we want to touch the road, you know. Trying to think of a name. Mm. Didn't know what kind of name, but you were just like, pies and ivy, man. See? Mm-hmm. Come and scratch. See? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, pies and ivy. We said, all right. And when we took on the road, man, it was bad for a hot minute. Yeah. Take and your lunch money and buy a record. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> <laughs> this is like way back. But then you went from Poison Ivy to Lone Star Sound. Mm-hmm. Am, I, am I right in the order? Yeah. Okay. So tell me about joining Lone Star Sound. <laughs> so I'm in the back like, well, Poison oh, Ivy's there and then. research. <laughs> Bless it went off to church. Mm-hmm. And then there and buy all these records, whatever. So I have some IG them on the block where I live. Yeah. So I'll into music and whatever the man them studio they want to start a song or whatever. And I was more like, I was even caring too much. So I'm selling the most America them or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just around him, so we just sound bill. So I'm just kind of like join the sound. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we're playing it, but I think my fire is like too much. And everybody wanted to have their peace and do what they had to do. Yeah. But to me, you no, know, I have that fire. I'm just like, it was not being greedy, you know, but I was just like, there's work to be done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can smash it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if we just leave it, I make the man them just full dry themselves and make, you know, become their own superhero. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you left that sound. 
And then you went to another sound that you stayed for with, for eight years. Red Flame. Yeah. So tell me about... <clears throat> and even like with some of these sounds, because moving from sound to sound, I, I want to hear some moments like, like a, cause you know, the sound clash era for the people who don't know, or just the sound era, there's one thing. Cause like we're, we're a hip hop um, platform. Mm. So when we say sound, people might not be understanding what we're talking about. Right. Maybe you should break it down. Like what a sound is just different than just one DJ. Yeah. It's a sound. Like it's totally different. Yeah. <clears throat> break that down for us, please. A sound in those days, we were just disc jockeys. Mm -hmm. See, but in those days growing up, at least when you're playing reggae music, you had a sound system. So you traveled with your speakers, mm -hmm. your amplifiers, turntables. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's on. Yeah. So I'd string up my sound, he'd string up his sound, like, in the lawn. Like, that was, that was like, sound business. Like, today you guys, there's no even, no disrespect. You know what I mean? But you youth need to understand where it's really coming from yeah. in order for you guys to be doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, there's real vibes. Yeah. Like, look what you just explained there. Like, friggin' people bringing their speakers and not for the whole party, for one sound. And then the next sound has to bring their equipment and everything. Yeah. And then at one point, it might just be two sounds playing alongside each other. Or it might be a sound clash. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Explain the sound clash for the... Because we, we got to do this in layman's terms for, for the people who are not maybe in tune to the reggae scene or to the to the, um, to the the dance hall scene. So explain what a sound clash is. Sound clash is... <clears throat> it really has to deal with the sound system itself too. Yeah. You know? The mind's more clear than yours. Mm -hmm. And it also has to deal with selection of tune. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before it was producers against producers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, Duke Reed, Sir Katzen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it became having a, a personalized music. Dub plates. Dub plates. So that's what's going on like right now. Yeah. Today. So that's me saying your song name is Chicken Neck and my song is. Higher heights, mm -hmm. see it? And I have the best popcorn, I have the best chronics. My one, them sound more better than yours. Yeah. And we compete mm -hmm. to find out who has better, better songs, you know? Yeah. Crowd reaction. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're going with the trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I, I needed that out of the way so that now when we continue the conversation, people are understanding, like, you're not just, okay, well, I was part of this DJ team. Like, it's a sound. It's a, it's a different yeah, thing. Yeah, it's total, the whole vibration. Like, look how music is today. Like, Right now, everybody just goes out. Oh, this guy's playing, that guy's playing. Let's just go to the party. Mm -hmm. When we were going out, like, you really had your, you had fans. Yeah. Like, these set of people are following this sound. These set of people follow that song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it was vibes. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was real. So, even, like, while we're going from sound to sound, right? Mm -hmm. And Red Flame <clears throat> is the one that you stayed with, with the longest, right? Mm -hmm. Or was it or was it Heat Wave? Man, that's the kind of, it's like, that's a balance. Yeah. See? Between, and we're going to get into the full, like, heat waves, right? With Spragan, right? Give me a time when, like, we're a sound clash. Like, is there, like, beef? Like, do sounds have beef sometimes? Like, the sound clash gets so heated. But man's are literally, literally just playing records back and forth. But it gets, it turns into a tank. Shout out to our sponsors, Astro Pink, always coming with that loud, loud. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or you can hit them up on Instagram at Astro underscore Pink. If you know, you know. Yeah. Like, I, I, from somebody from the outside, like, I've never seen it when I'm at a dance hall, so I don't know if this ever happens, fam. Like, do sound no, like, yeah. <laughs> how did that appear? Like, how does it show itself? Like, how do DJs beef with each other? It's not good. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, it's just more like that. I didn't want to be on the platform to even say anything to set an example of something that I seen. You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. I might not just all spark light. Yeah. <clears throat> but things happen. Like, that's where it goes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Feelings get, get hurt. Is it like a playing something before you get in there to start playing? Or is it like... Um, like, I don't know, like this, I, I I don't know how DJs would even, I know how hip hop DJs beef, 
A lot of times it's you're playing the shit that I'm supposed to be playing before I get on. And you know, say that you're not supposed to be playing that stuff. Right. But what is it that happens in the, in the dance hall world? You know what I'm saying? Well, dance hall, a dance is a dance. Clash is different. You yeah. know, clash. <clears throat> and sometimes things get heated mm -hmm. in the dance. I don't really see selectors like they ain't really beef with nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah they yeah. might show a little card. Like if you're playing better, and try to say two little smart remarks, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, nah, man, ain't nobody fighting and them day. But, but I always say what you're saying too, because you're talking like just dance all vibes, period. It's yeah, because you violent. guys are talking on the mic, fam, more <laughs> than the hip hop DJs. The hip hop DJs talk on the mic too, obviously, but the dance hall, the dance hall selector, a lot of times they're on the mic, they're, 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 they're screaming, you know what I mean? Murder them! Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I could probably get heated, fam. Well, guess what? If you choose, if you choose to be there, mm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, then that, that's your business. Those people choose to be there. They like that music. I don't think anybody wants to go out to get shot. Mm. See, but it's just that's Jamaica's pop culture right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's a bad man thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Okay, so tell me now with Red Flame sound, right? Mm. Or not with Red Flame with Heat Wave. I mean, mm. give me one of the most legendary nights. Doing a um, doing a jam with them, with that sound. Heat wave. Yeah. Couldn't tell you because it's too many. Mm. Like a, maybe a night where somebody walked into the to the place and you're like, "Holy, this is what we're doing tonight. This is we got this kind of people in the place." Like, damn. Man, always oh, it's Spraga. I couldn't tell you because I. I can't say one night was like better than another night. Like yeah, that sound and just what I did with it at the time was mm -hmm. just amazing. That's a well. What about a legendary place where you're like, wow, I can't believe we're over here right now. Like I'm in this country or this city. A legendary place in your for you because it, it might mean not for everybody, but like you're like yo. Damn, I can't believe I'm over here from doing from from running records and shit, bro. I don't know, man. I've been to so much places, but my brain doesn't. I just, bro. I'm so humble, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So my mind doesn't even think. Yeah, but yeah. me more going places. That's more like I've been places playing music, but that's more me singing, mm -hmm. going places for me to be like. This is where I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I want to get <clears> to the <throat> singing, but before you started singing, you make beats. <laughs> yeah, nah. Because, like, before you got into, like, really getting into the to the singing thing, like, like there was, I feel like there was steps to it, and then you fully started getting into the singing, like, really putting on music. Like I said, I can't, I couldn't tell you that everything is mashed into one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, you know, some people were like, oh, you're a plumber. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But you can't be like a teacher too. Mm -hmm. That's bull. You remember I told you the element of, of being a B-boy? Yeah. It was everything in one. All the elements. See? Because all of it makes one thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, at some point you got to start making the backdrop to to music that you're playing, and then you start getting onto the you know doing the music it, itself. Every, right? Everything, one mm. me playing the accordion, and at the time learning, mm -hmm. still I sing, I sing, and I try, and I try make beats, and I do everything when we can. Yeah, all in one. Yeah, I'm trying to create music, regardless what it is, if or I'm mixing or I'm singing or making a beat. Everything is one, mm -hmm. one element. So do you feel that like, even from doing the DJing and stuff like that, that it started getting you into, cause like while you're, while you're DJing, you're on the mic, getting you into more making music full on. Repeat that again. Too. Like, you know, you're on, you're on, you're, 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 you're playing the set, you're selected, mm -hmm. but you're on the mic at the same time. 
right? Do you think that even helps you to push you to start doing just more just music period at the same time? Because there was a point in time where like you started releasing music, just Lindo P tunes, mm-hmm. right? There's Lindo P, the selector, and then there's Lindo P, the artist to me. There's two different like careers, you know what I'm saying? Even if they're both running consecutively, right? But I feel like you stepped out of this artist a little bit more, what? When, what years you think? Two thousand thirteen, maybe, mm. <clears throat> or even maybe a little bit before. Before that, fam, I think. Yeah, because remember, I do stuff with socks. I just been doing music. You see what I? What woman tell you? Like I can't even put a number to nothing. Yeah, because I remember you just featuring. Manifest. You were on Firestarter, fam. Remember that. So this is early in the game. This is early two yeah. thousands. You're like already busting chance. <laughs> Facts. Fam, we're not going to get into the partners in rhyme. <laughs> I, got it. I, I have that there on my, on my list here, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to play today. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got the legend Lindo right. P in the building. I want to make sure I'm All well right. researched. All right, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So, okay. Mm. You're stepping into the music game, right? Mm-hmm. You, um, I want to throw one name at you before in the, the DJ space and give me what comes to mind before we get into the music stuff, right? Starting from scratch. Hey, brother. Hmm. Scratch. No, no. There's nothing for me to say. Nothing bad. Always good. The mm. best. See? No, no, no. No, no, no. Like clubbing, I just know growing up being around reggae people, them. Mm-hmm. I didn't know about like if anything was like TKO, Sunshine, them kind of DJs, them that play like the R&B and all of those. You know what I mean? Um, and it's better than him. Not Ritz. No, man. Carl, man. Um, can't remember right now. Them people there. So mm-hmm. there was no real, like, DJs. Seeing? Scratch is the first, like, DJ, club DJ to me. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is like, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Seeing? And them time, they're like, I imagine the first time I'm meeting Scratch. Playing at a party. All right, guys playing this hip hop or whatever, really thing. Remember, so we are reggae DJs, see? Mm-hmm. Eh? Nobody rams with the reggae DJ, them, see? Yeah. Like, we are the bad boy, them. In I party, them. Me, Puma. Me run in the man and play the. I start playing reggae. But, me, yo, me fix, you know? <laughs> see? And the man I play it good, too. See? I say, I want to this boy, I start. Fix. You always have to go and go play. So I'm going to go play, boom, do my thing. Mm-hmm. It's just like, <sighs> played, but I just respected him because he was good. Mm-hmm. And he gave me the same honor too, you know what I mean? But I was just like, we were kids. Yeah. And we are just on beer dance and I didn't see nobody else. I only saw a scratch. Then everybody else came after. Mm-hmm. No, man, salute to, salute, salute to starting from scratch, man. That's a legend right there. And I, I know that, you know, steel sharp, sharp and steel, as they say, right? You know what I mean? That's why I wanted to you to mention him because I know from a young time when you were getting into the game or when you were in the game, you're like, oh, this this guy's fire. And I, I feel like it helped you to even, you know, go harder at what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Um, so now, as you're starting to get into the music, right, and you're putting out tunes, one of the early times where I started noticing you is on the Firestarter album, right? Okay. Cardinal of Fish Out. Mm-hmm. So tell me about you, know, you starting to even like work with Cardinal because you guys worked uh, again a lot of times over the years. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys, I feel like have a pretty good relationship. You know what I'm saying? So tell me about the first time meeting Cardi. Yo, when you, when you out here in Canada, that's where my nigga Peter Jackson smoked that salt, that gas. Excuse me, Bully shit, I call it Debo. My eyes. What did I mean, Cardi? <coughs> I think it was like some fresh or something. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and then I saw him again performing at like, in them time, like, Muan, see Cardi now. 
<coughs> some some my Centennial College or Seneca one of them places. Mm -hmm. Me see him perform and with the thought to my rate it them. That was it. Just me just doing my music and him being who he is. Yeah. But I always just walk up in a spot and just do mutual people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just that relationship just built. Yeah. You know? Mm. Now, you appeared on the Firestarter. Can you, when did you guys start making music together? Let's get to there with you and Cardinal. The music was after like, <clears throat> when I, when I joined um, Black Jays. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know what I mean? When, when Cardi built it, he didn't build it like, oh yeah, I have these guys dancing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He built it like, we have a team, you know what I mean? Solitaire builds beats. Mm -hmm. I rate it, and bam. So anybody who, Obviously, does anything in the music, you did it. So yeah. He was doing music with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm and We just started doing music. He was just like, bam, bam. You know? Can't lie. <clears throat> he linked with Black China and me do what I did, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. fire tune there and, and whatnot. And Slim Remy, when I did, um, Let's Get Married. Yeah. You know what I mean, all them big people there. So, yeah, man. Help me. Yeah, man. No, salute to Cardi, man. And even one of the first people like to like intertwine some of this hip hop stuff, right? We mentioned Partners in Rhyme. Mm. This is a group that you had with Danny Yo back in the day, right? Or like, was it like a group or just like a one-off that you guys did? Just a one-off. Yeah, so mm. tell me about that. For for the people who are not aware in the hip hop history, like Danny Yo is a legend out here. I have an interview with him for the people. Y'all should check that out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? See. But he never <clears> mentioned <throat> that in the interview that, that him, that you and him and Lindo P, the legend, had a group together. So. Tell, tell us about making that that, that time. Me and Danny were there, same school. Mm -hmm. A little bit younger than me or whatever. By the time I reached like, we didn't have high school yet. We didn't have high school. Anyways, because like I said, like, I knew him and he lived like close. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? So we grew up. And obviously he does his music. So one day he's like, bro, I'm trying to um, go to LL Cool J concert. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ray Tay I was like, I need to make a, a, a mix for me. Cause we're which part we live, everybody knows I'm the DJ. Yeah. <clears throat> so just scratch this this beat back and forth for me and read it to you. So I did it, put it on a cassette. Mm -hmm. He came to my house, wrapped on a little crap mic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bam bam. Submitted it in a buff. Man links me, he's like, yo, yo, I can't believe it, bro. We made it, made it. I'm sorry, wicked. Yeah. Day comes and I was like, Yo, I think you should come and help me, man, and spit some lyrics. I'm like, nah, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, you know what I need, Rasta. We choose younger than me too, bro. And I'm like, we just love music, man. I help him too, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I'm like, all right, we're going to go crush them. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we went out there and then saw my bridge from Chester Lee Marlin. Mm -hmm. And we're like, I think what was the group we went against? Gifted in Black. I remember that. And I'm telling you, man, it's just me and Daniel, you know. See, Gifted in Black, I'm seeing this big dude there. They have like five dancers. <laughs> girl, everybody <laughs> broke clothes, everything like this. Yeah, what happened? So like, we need something. Some of Bridget were like, yo, what's popping? Because we know he dances. Yeah, yeah. He's like, we're like, yo, we have nothing though. He didn't have no clothes, don't no, like. We were right out, but on a, a bucket hat, <laughs> got two markers. Swear if he wants to take graffiti on it. <laughs> That's See crazy. Him. Bath. So they went up, gifted in black. Imagine. I'm watching this like this. To me, I'm like this. Mm -mm. We are gonna get, get mash up. Yeah. Like, this looks like. A professional issue. Yes, bro. Like, <laughs> we just come off a of street. Yeah. Our time, no, Bridget. Woof. Daniel goes on, bro. Bridges around there dancing his life away, Bridget. <laughs> just around there in this boof. Man, give me my little piece. Start spitting some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Landslide. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that was it. There was no more after that. Yeah, and you guys yeah. never did another. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Well, salute to Danny, yo, man. I, I, I needed to hear that story. And, and what I also want to know from you, 
Are you the inventor of the short mix? You know what I mean by the short mix? We're not playing the whole tune, yes. tune after tune. We're going to do yes. a hook, verse, cut. Hook, hook, verse, cut. You know what I'm saying? We might pull it up, but we're going to pull it up <clears> and <throat> boom, 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 juggle it, basically. Listen, <clears throat> everybody can see what they want to see. Mm -hmm. But I know. Seeing that if you live in Canada, seeing at least Toronto, yeah. you would know. Because like I said, like, I'm not saying nobody ever scratched with reggae and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was sick with it with the 45s and stuff. Yeah. And that's from me knowing about the hip-hop. So I used to get in trouble all the time. Because what these guys are understanding, like, I'm not saying I want the song to play. Mm -hmm. But my creativity, see, is way past your level. No, because of the hip hop. Mm -hmm. So I'm hearing something. I might doesn't mean I, I want I don't want the song to play, but I might want to fuck around those. You know, yeah. Choose, but I'm like, oh, you gone ring shot, my bro. I want to pull it back again and do yeah. it. Yeah, you're like, yo, but what, what are you doing? You're like sampling almost at the same time. Yes, it's changing the whole the whole something with reggae though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it, can you? Just to like to make it land, right? Can you document when you started seeing the change in the DJs starting to do the like shorter, shorter song mixes? I'm asking a lot because you've been doing this for a while, right? But like, you know, to be claiming that, fam, you got to be like seeing man them are playing the whole tune, and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all wasn't playing half tunes until you know what I'm saying. What time and do you think that was? Man, like... Like, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to... And like, again, I'm not saying no, nobody else never did it. See? But I was doing it. Yeah. Like, Believe me, I tell this story all the time. So that if somebody wants to be like, wait, 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 this is what happened. No, no, you're talking about the first time Spraga Benz so, yeah. was here. It was like King Turbo Heat Wave, Soul to Soul, Red Flame. Mm -hmm. Spraga Benz, see? Tracy Nice's, Nice's um, dance. And when I was playing, it was just me. So everybody would pass me the the record or the dub. Mm -hmm. So they're all talking, but I'm like this. See? Yeah. When I got a chance to get a break, Rosa, see, soul to soul, went to me, he's like, forward, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Father Paul wants to talk to you. See? If they don't remember, I remember. See? Yeah. And he said, Yo, would you play my? Would you play on on, on Stolov? See, but them time I'm running the street, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no way. See, I'm just come young too. I'm just like, we might go to Jamaica Fabri and I'm leave everything that I have up here right now. Yeah, and for the people you know who don't know, know Stone Love is a huge, legendary sound. Man said, yo, man, I need a selector like you. Mm. So to ja, in like a few months, because Billy Slaughter, <clears throat> tell me. I was sick with it. Sick. No, you're still sick with it, fam. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because like, even like as your as years have gone on, I'm still seeing Lindo P appearing on flyers, right? How do you maintain longevity, bro? You know, everything is just love. See him? Uh, and I don't try to exalt myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Everybody do what they're doing. Sometimes we see people miss you and then they, they see you again. They greet you with more opening arms. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mom, your mom ever tell you that? Sometimes like, if it's not like you're bridging, bridging, sometimes you shouldn't always be on the block. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes when they see you too much now, out of nothing, you ain't even doing nothing, but they're just like, Fuck this nigga's doing it on your yeah. Ray Tay Tay. So then they see you and they miss you and they're like, fuck, what the hell happened to you? 
Just keep it like that. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's jewelry right there. And and even like with all these things that we've we we we, we spoke about, right? What's one thing that Lindo P now would tell, let's say, a twenty-year-old Lindo P? Um, <clears throat> save your money. Invest in your own. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And don't sell out. That's what I'd say. I mean, I ain't saying I sold on myself, mm-hmm. seeing, but when you know better, you should do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't say I'm a, I'm a perfect person, I do wrong still. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's what you, the forces that you're putting out there and seeing what you're getting, you know what I'm saying? And not even really like caring, you're not even watching. But you know, you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. the devil is out there, but you know business, not even preparing for later on. Who knows, you might dead or whatever, but you did something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's almost like you did nothing. You created a great hype. But what do you leave for the people then? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I kind of change my vibes, you know? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, man. No, that's real talk right there. Um, what's one of the best decisions you feel that you ever made in life? This is just like an off the head question I have for you because I feel like we're having a really interesting conversation. One of the best decisions you feel that you ever made in life? Best decision I've ever made in life. Yeah. So I always love my family. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Family love is super important, dog. I don't know about everybody else's family. I ain't seen sometimes there's problem. <clears throat> but my family, like my whole, all of my family, women, mm-hmm. my cousins, them, and Ray Tete. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the love is like real. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's frightening. So, because not to love them would be a terrible thing. Because mm-hmm. the love is always there. I think Oh, man, that's, that's, that's jewelry, you know what I'm saying? No, man, yo, Lindo, I, I feel that, you know, we got to be, we got to get a lot of information on your whole journey through, um, the music scene, there's a lot more I feel that we can uncover, but we should probably do a part two and really get more of the things that you got going on now because you got a lot of stuff still going on. Can you give us some of the things that you have coming up even for this for 2023? You know what I'm saying? 2023, Supreme Jeans. You're going to hear some, um, just have some music, you know, have some music from um, Soul Survival. Mm-hmm. we just release. You know what I mean? We're just going to be doing some things. Just take time and watch. Like I said, I'm very humble. Mm-hmm. I like to punch people when they don't know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, man. I'm going to be looking forward to it. And you know what I want to also ask you before we end this, this conversation here? Salute to Sovereign Selections. You know what I mean? We've been smoking that platinum plate pink. What do you think of it? I've, I've been nice and basically frosh i'm great <laughs> <laughs> yeah man salute to sovereign selections they 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 got us nice and toasty with this platinum um lso platinum pink check them out 70 dundas street east right upstairs right next to the rock the house barber shop you know what i mean all of the information will be in the description below lindo thank you for coming through having this conversation with me um do you have anything that else that you want to leave with the people before we before we end our conversation here today i don't know <clears throat> the only thing is just is 
Uh, just you, them just live up, please. Mm. That's, all I'm, that's all I'm asking. Nobody's wise. Everybody just wants to tell you how much great things they've done. See? But nobody wants to say like, yo, I love you guys. And respect the foundation because you guys are going to get old too. Remember that shit, brother. See? And the way all you guys are looking like, don't do that. Open up the third eye. Look what's going on. Everything that they're showing you right now. The whole media, everything. Seeing? If you don't wake up, it's like you're, you're a punk. Mm. When I'm growing up, we used to be able to go to every turf. Now you can't go to every turf. You know what I'm saying? There was so much more strength in numbers. You know what I'm saying? Now everything's decreasing. What do you want all the money for to buy all the jewels? What's it going to do, bro? Appreciates, bro, as soon as you get it. Doesn't even make no sense. Own the buildings, them, my brother. And damn, I try showing them. See, build the jobs for your black people, them. See, stop making them looking at you and say, oh, you're from Marvin, you're from Jane Finch, you're from Ray TT. You need to stop that shit. Because everybody else is living better. And they were living in the hood. Do that gangster stuff. I ain't telling none of you guys, don't do it. See, don't hurt you one another. That's all I'm saying. Still not tell us to kill anybody or whatever. I'm just saying, do what you do. But, but still take care of your own. Mm. See? No such thing as poor people. See? That's a poor mind. You heard that? See? Because some people are nothing become something. You just remember that. I'm going to make sure to make that my title here. No such thing as poor people. Just a poor mind. Yes, sir. Words to live by right there, man. Lindo P in the building. Um, give give us your social medias anywhere where you <clears> want <throat> people to find you and stuff too, man. Um, I'm going to do social media, you know what I mean? But um, Instagram, Lindo P416. Also, Ja underscore Lindo P416. Right? Facebook. There's a Twitter, but I don't remember the password or nothing, so I ain't on it. I've been on it for about <laughs> five years, so... Don't bother to eat here. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, man, the people who, who need to find you will find you in the places they got to. You know what I'm saying? And, and I made sure to write that down. You know, um, there's no poor people. It's poor minds. You know what I'm saying? Lindo P in the building. I think I'm going to take us out here um, with, uh, let's say, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? What? Well, let's do it, man. We love hip hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop.